HTML forms comes with interactivity out of the box. When the user submits a form, it sends an HTTP request and it's up to the code on the server to handle that request and respond with something sensible. To be able to generate server-side rendered pages, we must change the Astro config value output from its default static to server or hybrid. With that done, let's start by creating an upload form on our upload page. We need a file picker, a label for the picker, and a submit button. The form should generate a post request, and since we'll be sending along a file, the encoding of the form data needs to be of type multipart. Before I click submit, take a guess. What will happen? If you guess nothing, kudos to you. If you guessed nothing and that the form would clear or reset, here is your gold star. So why did the form reset? because the page reloaded and thus re-rendered. Let's add a console log to make it clear. The code in the front matter of an astro file executes on the server, once when the page initially renders, and then again when we submit the form. And furthermore, the code does not get shipped to this client as we can see by the lack of messages in the browser console. So what should we do when the post request comes in? The task at hand is to upload the submitted file to Cloudinary. And before we can do anything, let's cast the file to be an actual file. How do we upload to Cloudinary? We can use our node SDK and more specifically the upload stream function. Why not the main upload function? Because with Astro, the incoming file will never be temporarily saved as a file on the server. We'll start by creating a helper function that takes the file as binary data together with the Cloudinary options objects and returns a promise that we may then await. Binary data is then uploaded to Cloudinary by sending the binary data as one chunk using dot end. The missing piece at this point is going from a file to binary data recognized by this Cloudinary upload stream function. We can do so by transforming the file in two steps. First to a buffer array and then to an array of 8-bit unsigned integers, aka binary data. Again, stop and guess what will happen when I submit. The file uploads to Cloudinary and we get this beautiful response from Cloudinary that we printed to the console. Not the most user-friendly printing to the console, so let's solve that by showing the uploaded file. To do so, we define a variable uploaded file outside the if block to capture the Cloudinary response. Then on our page, we may conditionally render the form or a preview of the uploaded file. Now, the beauty of Cloudinary is the ability to transfer images on the fly. So let's not show a preview of the photo in its absolute highest resolution. We'll do so by using the awesome unpick library from Matt Kane and ask for a much smaller square image. If you look at the resulting image URL, we find that both width, height, crop, and format transformations have been added for us. I've been a professional developer for almost 15 years. Media libraries will get out of hand if nobody has the job to clean up and tag images correctly. Cloudinary now offers to let AI do that job for you. I tested it on the pizza image from this demo and the results were pretty good. 